Hello, all you beautiful beings. Um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, I actually wanted to make a video about kind of an old, oldish topic um, that I actually first that I actually first um, I actually first heard about this topic from <clears throat> on Armored Skeptics channel who. Uh, I actually used to be subscribed to him because I did like his videos about creationism, and I think last year he did put up a <clears throat> a um, video about the the whole brouhaha over cop over Starbucks coffee cups last Christmas. That was also uh, it was all right. Um, video uh, videos about that were pretty much a dime a dozen. There wasn't really much to say about it except like there was a whole big. There was a bunch of just drama and upset over pretty much nothing. Much ado about nothing, I guess, pretty much. Um, but uh, it's the topic of Atheism Plus. And um, he, basically, the way he talked about it, he talked about it like it was <clears throat> rearing its ugly head to ruin atheism. Um, t okay, um, now this... Um, so I, I really didn't understand what he was talking about. So I actually looked up what Atheism Plus was through a quick Google search. I went, I came across the Rational Wiki article for it. Rational Wiki, my favorite place ever. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, basically I'll read, I'll read off. Atheism Plus was a movement proposed in 2012 by blogger Jen McCrate, I think it's pronounced. Its, real, its original definition was rather nebulous, but in general, it encouraged progressive atheists to move beyond the question of non-belief and to address additional issues, including critical thinking, skepticism, social justice, feminism, anti-racism, and combating homophobia and transphobia. The idea originated as a reaction to the nastiness flung over controversy, during controversy over sexual harassment policies at atheist and skeptical conferences, which in turn was a re-ignition of the controversy over sexism, and those two movements that have been smoldering since Elevator Gate. The initiative largely went nowhere, and even proponents don't really use the term anymore. The phrase remains current. To poison the snarl by Reddit anti feminists, Gamergate, the Slime Pit, fans of Thunderfoot, and other assholes who are active in atheist circles. That the asshole was was their word, not mine. So you get the idea. Okay, so when I read so when I first read this, I was just thinking well, that's kind of like what I was talking about in my video about what secular humanism means to me. Like, yeah, it does mean, like, thinking critically and being skeptical and standing up for social justice and basically being a good person without God. Basically, yeah. Um, okay, um, it goes on. Critical tenets are, according to McCrate's original Atheism Plus blog post, we are atheists plus we care about social justice, atheists plus we care about women's rights, atheists plus we protest racism, atheists plus we fight homophobia and transphobia, atheists plus we use critical thinking and skepticism. Now, uh, the likes of... <clears throat> now, well, I actually did a bit of Googling, or a bit of YouTube searching, and Thunderfoot was actually one of the first um, big atheist channels to speak out against this. Why feminism is poisoning atheism? Drama queen, much? I'm sorry. That's 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 you don't he he didn't stop the thing. Maybe that's shooting it over the moon a little. Okay. Um. <clears throat> and uh, Jacqueline Glenn did did it too. Atheism plus drama video about how atheism plus and pussies how appropriate. Blah blah blah. Uh, uh, atheism plus is pretty much atheism plus radical, etc. etc. So I'm gonna. Sargon of Akkad has done videos about it, etc., etc. And people who like to complain, complain about Steve Shives complain about Atheism Plus a lot. It's... So, okay. Um, I'm just like... I don't... I, I guess... I... I've been over this before. Like, I don't get why people have to... Oh my fuck. Oh my freaking god. Uh, it's, 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 just ignore it. Please just ignore it, I'm not getting up. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm 
it's cold down here and I have to go to work later today, so I'm in the process of like doing laundry, taking care of the dogs and everything. I'm just taking a break to shoot a quick video. And it's like <clears throat> I don't see why people have such a think it's such a personal affront to them to be asked to care about other people, pretty much. I'm like, really? It's like just because something affects doesn't affect you directly doesn't mean it's not a problem. It's like, it, yes, there are, yes there are women who face harassment. There are women who there are women of color who face racialized sexism, sexualized racism. There are people of color experiencing racism, and plus there's ableism, classism. There's all these things that intersect and make each other worse. And it's like, it, it's like it's not trying to turn you. <sighs> I'm thinking back to that video that um, that Armored Skeptic and a bunch of other of these anti-atheism plus people were part of. Um, what really surprises me is that Thunderfoot wasn't a part of it. Um, I, that's not neither here nor there, but but it's like <clears throat> it's just it's just like just because it doesn't affect you doesn't mean it's not an issue. Doesn't mean it doesn't affect anybody else. And it's like it's. <laughs> it's like, what's, I, I, I almost want to think back to what I said in my, my fat shame, my anti-fat shame video, like, what's your problem? Why, why is it so, why do you take it so personally when people talk about, when people talk about social justice issues, when people talk about women's rights, when people talk about racism, when people talk about ableist terms, and like how some terms have undertones of sexism, or transphobia, or racism, it's like, I thought changing your behavior based on new information was part of being a freaking grown-up. It's like, yes, um, I actually, um, I have a, t I have a t tweet thread that I, yeah, like I said, I did restart my Twitter, um, I have a tweet thread on there that I just, I, where I talk about, like, how, like, a personal example for me, how I used to use the term sociopath pretty, fl pretty, like, um, liberally li more than I used to that before I actually understood that um, antisocial personality disorder is something that people actually deal with that it does have like that's not necessarily something people are born with how it is correlated with trauma and stuff like that and so how, how eventually I kind of trained myself not to use it anymore it's like you I can use a different word I can use different terms I I went to school I have a fairly big vocabulary it's like it's it's not asking something superhuman of people just to have empathy and like I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that um what secular humanism means to me should be what it means to everybody, but like I do kind of think secular humanism is about like having empathy and caring about other people and not just trying to be the smartest guy in the room. It's like I, I think that's why I've lost so much I've lost a lot of respect for certain for a, for actually most atheist channels on YouTube because it's like it's all it's all about just attacking people it's all it's all about it's all about attacking people it's all about like what like talk like shouting people down it's all about it's all about this makes me uncomfortable so it's bad and you should be quiet and you should stop making me feel uncomfortable like you should stop making everybody else want to you should stop trying to make other people change it's like dude really it's like. Mm. It's like people don't talk about social justice issues and racism and feminism and things like that just to make you feel badly about yourself. Seriously, it's like so just I'm kind of rambling now. I'm sorry guys. I'm just tired and like I wanted to just talk about this. So basically I this this whole thing I think it kind of started um, it, it started before Gamergate, and I guess they kind of, like, they kind of, like, when Gamergate started, they kind of just, I don't know. And now that, now that that orange man-child has been elected president, who, who knows? We, I can only, I can only be the best secular humanist I can be. I can find other other really, I can find other secular humanists who care about social justice and being good people and being empathetic. That's all I can do. It's like, I don't want to try to stop these people from 
making videos about whatever, making another 10 videos about how social justice warriors and feminism and feminists are ruining their lives and, like, in, and eating all their cereal or something like that. It's like, I can't stop them, but, like, all I can do is the best I can do. Okay, so, I'm tired. Uh, I, I need to drink some coffee. I'm so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to be going to work later today. Um, I have to leave at 1, I'll be working late, and then tomorrow I have to work early in the morning, so, yep, this is, this, and yes, health nut vegans, this is why some vegans need to drink coffee, because some of us actually work manual labor jobs that have weird hours. So yeah, yeah that's just going to be all for this video, and um, as always, peace and love, and please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you.